What is up? All right. The Phoenix race is down and in books. Let's take a look at your uh, finishing order. We'll take a look at the stages. Uh, then we'll take a look at the points, and I'll jump into what you guys want to talk about. Christopher Bell, uh, of course, uh, wins the race. He led 50 laps. Chris Busher ends up in second place with some nice uh, strategy there at the end. They were able to uh, make a nice run. Both RFK cars finishing in the top five. Ty Gibbs uh, ends up in third place, started on, on the outside pole, brings it home in third. Brad Keselowski, that other RFK car that I was talking about, brings it home in fourth place. Ryan Blaney ends up in fifth place, and he is actually going to end up taking your points lead, which we'll get to in just a minute. Ross Chastain. Uh, ends up six, and that was actually the uh, the pick them today, which we'll get to in a minute, too. Uh, Blaney versus Chastain. Blaney comes out on top in the uh, one versus one from a bed MGM. Uh, let's see. Uh, Martin Trix Jr. for entertainment purposes only. Martin Trix Jr. ends up second. Michael McDowell is eighth there. Nice run for both of them. Martin Trix Jr. with those new tires at the end. Uh, a bold strategy if they caught a caution or something like that. No telling what would have happened. But he recovers to seventh place. Chase Briscoe ends up ninth. Uh, Tyler Reddick ends up 10th. Denny Hamlin, 11th. Noah Gregson, another good run for him, uh, trying to work his way out of that points deficit. A nice 12th place finish for him. He is the second of the SHR car. Daniel Suarez, 13th. Kyle Larson, the first Hendrick man in 14th. And when's the last time a Hendrick car didn't finish in the top 10? Uh, seems like a long time. Carson Hosevar ends up 15th in his Rookie of the Year campaign, uh, the highest finishing of the Spire cars. Bob Wallace ends up 16th. For uh, 23-11, uh, let's see, Ty Gilliland here in 17th. He led some laps today, uh, staying out there with some strategy. Uh, so he got uh, some laps led. The only car, in fact, that wasn't a Toyota that led laps today was Ty Gilliland. William Byron, 18th. Chase Elliott, 19th. Alex Bowman, 20th. Hendrick, uh, they were off, but they were off. At least they were consistent. 18th, 19th, and 20th. And, of course, Larson, 14th. And Ricky Stenhouse, Jr., 21st. Disappointing day for Kyle Busch. Looks like RCR still doesn't have the short track uh, package figured out yet. Ryan Priest, 23rd, Justin Haley, 24th, John Hunter Nemechek, 25th, after he dumped uh, Joey Logano. Josh, <laughs> Joey Logano is not happy about it. We'll, uh, I guess, uh, address that as well, too. Josh Berry continues a disappointing uh, rookie campaign in 26th. Harrison Burton, 27th, Daniel Hemrick, uh, 28th, uh, Zane Smith, 29th, Kaz Grawl, 30th, and Eric Jones, uh, 31st, uh, the aforementioned contact with Bubba Wallace. Uh, let's see, uh, Austin Dillon. Ends up 32nd there. He had that contact on that uh, early wreck where uh, Derek Krause spun and uh, Austin Dillon couldn't get out of the way. Corey Heim ends up uh, 33rd. He was, uh, I forget which caution he was in, but he was in one of those cautions literally after making a lap up and getting a lap back. Joey Logano, uh, 34th, uh, of course, after the contact there. And then Derek Krause, 35th. Austin Sendrick, your last man, your last finisher. Austin Sendrick uh, had had a good run. Uh, up until this point, so he was 11th in points. We'll see where that drops him, but he finishes last in this one. So first on Earth 2 for the Earth 2 uh, statisticians or last car fanatics. Uh, Ryan Blaney takes over your points lead. He has a 10-point lead over Kyle Larson and Martin Tricks Jr., who are both tied for second. William Byron is fourth. Tyler Reddick, fifth in points. Ty Gibbs uh, moves up to sixth in points in his sophomore campaign. Ross Chastain, seventh. Denny Hamlin, 8th, Chase Elliott, ninth, Daniel Suarez, 10th, Kyle Busch, uh, 11th in points. So he mitigated uh, he mitigated all that. But two races ago, he was your points leader. So the last two races, he's gone from 1st in points to 11th in points. They're going to look to turn that around at Bristol. A really good track for him, so we'll see what happens there. Christopher Bell ends up 12th, Alex Bowman, 13th in points, Bo Wallace, 14th. Austin Sendrick remains in the playoffs as it stands now, even with that last place finish. Uh, in 15th, Chris Busher is going to be your 16th place, the last man in the playoffs, if the playoffs were to start today, which it, it of course, is not early in the season. Uh, Michael McDowell, first man on the outside. Eric Jones below him. Chase Briscoe and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. round out your top 20 in points. So let's uh, jump over here and see what uh, you guys want to talk about. I mentioned my pickums uh, before I jump into all the other stuff. So my pickums were Blaney versus Chastain, Gregson, Gregson versus Barry, Gibbs versus Bowman, Hamlin versus Elliott, and Bell versus Bush. And I picked uh, Chastain over Blaney, so I missed that one. The rest of them, though, I got right. I got Gregson uh, over uh, Barry. I got Gibbs over Bowman. I had Hamlin over Elliott. And I had Christopher Bell over Busher. So uh, my head-to-heads, uh, I, I crushed them today except for one. Heck, if I, if I parlayed uh, two or three of those, 
uh, other than the Blaney versus Chastain one, which I wouldn't have bet on because I knew that was too risky to begin with. Uh, I would have had a nice parlay. I never parlay, though. Uh, parlays are uh, – they're dangerous. They're dangerous. I do have a poll question up, and I thought that was uh, sort of the more interesting deal. We saw Toyota dominated this race. Like, nobody really had anything speed-wise for the Toyota. Ford played strategy at the end, and I think Ford was definitely better than Chevrolet at this track. But I still think there was a significant gap between uh, uh, Ford and Toyota. It looked like a straight Toyota uh, track. So Toyota going to be your odds-on favorite if they get a driver in the Final Four, which you would expect they would have at least one in the Final Four uh, when you get to the end of the season. So a huge advantage to Toyota as it stands right now with the short track package, especially at Phoenix, which is the last race of the season. But overall, I think a lot of people were disappointed in the race. It was a very strategic race. There was a lot of green flag laps. Got, a, got maybe a slew of cautions there um, halfway through the last stage, I would say. Uh, but after that, it was like green all the way. So a lot of people uh, had an issue with the Phoenix track. So that is the poll question. Do you think the biggest issue with Phoenix is the track? Is it the car? Is it the tires? Or is it the package? Uh, right now, 52% say in the package. The next highest is 26% saying it's the track. And 17% saying it's the car with 4% saying it's the tires so technically uh, uh, technically car and package right now uh massive advantage if you group those two together which i'm sure some people will but yeah 52 percent right now thinking it's the package we'll leave that poll up and see what you guys think so let's jump into the chat and see where you guys want to take it from here um toyota ends uh the chevrolet street so yeah that's the other thing uh chevrolet had started the season uh winning a bunch in a row not only uh, on this side of the thing, but in trucks and uh, Xfinity too, they had won, won several races over there. Uh, Toyota broke the streak over there in Xfinity as well uh, last weekend, and I uh, continued it this weekend. Uh, Toyota whooped that Chevy and uh, Ford butt. Love to see it, said Jason. Uh, BD, are you impressed with uh, Josh Berry so far, says OJ and Two-Face? I was expecting a lot more out of him, to be honest with you. Uh, but I'll tell you who I am impressed with over there at SHR uh, and Noah Gregson. I knew Noah Gregson would come over here focused, and he has come over uh, to the Cup Series more focused after uh, the adversity last season. So it uh, looks like he is uh, he's refocused himself, and he's uh, taking it a lot more seriously, uh, to say the least. Uh, I think uh, Noah Gregson's definitely a man on a mission. Uh, the race sucked, said uh, Robert Key. Lowest uh, point getter in fantasy was Martin Trix Jr. with 37. Hit all my bonus picks. Fantasy was good, uh, but my heart and the uh, 24 team was not good, uh, so conflicted. So, yeah, that was the interesting thing. Once again, track position was a big deal. Uh, the 24 car had good good speed overall. I was looking at lap times and stuff like that. But when you were behind somebody, you just couldn't pass. And, and it was just almost impossible to pass unless they just really fell off or made a mistake. So the speed wasn't necessarily terrible for the 24 car or any of the injured cars. They just didn't have track position. And uh, the only car that could really uh, work uh, Christopher Bell, I'll take that back. Christopher Bell could work wherever, but it seems like the other cars missed the setup, and when they got behind somebody, they couldn't pass them. So once again, the package or the track or whatever, that is that is a poll question. Uh, but yeah, you could. It was for most drivers, it was really hard to pass here today. Christopher Bell being the exception, he seemed like he could put his car where he wanted to put it, and uh, you you could say that possibly could be uh, you know driver too. Uh, okay, uh, race uh, probably better uh, live. Fox needs to just uh, show the drone shot all race. I'm telling you, man, that overhead drone shot wasn't bad, especially when they keyed it in and uh, you saw uh, uh, who got into the 43. Some, somebody got into the 43, and then you saw somebody get into uh, – was it Bubba? Bubba got into the 43. You saw somebody get into Ross, too. Uh, so you saw you saw several of those. Those, those overheads were pretty good because you could see the other cars pushing up uh, into, into the other car and then pushing them into the wall. As far as your pole, uh, I say all four, says Nicole Wembley. So Nicole Wembley's going with all four there. A rough day for Rowdy uh, says in between the lanes. Yeah, for sure. I uh, just uh, just was not his day. Uh, one of those one of those days. Just checked. Uh, just checked. I was eight uh, and two behind seven people who tied for first place in the morning uh, drive fantasy league. Woo woo. Uh, so say Kyle. So say Kyle uh, doing his fantasy thing and doing a good job over there. It was a nice a nice looking card you had. I did see that earlier. Uh, Hosvar is owning uh, Corey's butt at Spire. Not just Corey. Hosvar is. Uh, He's, he's head and shoulders above uh, everybody right now at Spire. He's, he's leading the way, just like I feel like Noah is uh, leading the way over there at SHR. So interesting. 
uh, that basically you can make an argument that, that Noah's a rookie too, but you can basically make an argument that two rookies are leading those organizations. Uh, no, uh, no disrespect to uh, Corey LaJoy or anybody else, just uh, just the way it's playing out this season. Uh, Chase Elliott uses uh, Kelly Blue Book when he sells his uh, Chevrolet vehicles. <clears throat> Indeed he does, and that was a good-looking paint scheme today. I uh, also meant to mention, I mentioned earlier, somebody asked me about paint schemes. I said the Mobile One. I also want to throw Ricky Stenhouse's uh, Coke, uh, Spicy Coke, or whatever it's called, Spiced Coke. Uh, that, that was a pretty good-looking scheme, too. What do you... Uh, what do you know about some moonshine saying it's me, your friend? I know moonshine is uh, usually pretty good. Uh, the reconfigure of uh, Phoenix was dumb, says Nicole. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. They should have just left the start finish line where it was at. Uh, I think the other stuff they could have uh, they could have fixed. But they did a, as far as the fan experience goes, they did do a good job with the stands and all that for the fan experience. I got to give credit where it's due. I picked Kyle Bush over Christopher Bell uh, in fantasy, even though Bell was uh, in my lineup. Says in between the lanes, ah, that's the way it goes, man. That's the way it goes. <clears throat> if you would, uh, if you would put Chris Bell in there, Chris Bell would have wrecked. That. That's just the way life works. Uh, life is too short. Do I ever bet the under? Says I Quattro. <laughs> you tell them, man. You tell them. Uh, four races, four different winners. I'm getting closer to my prediction of 18 different winners. Says like this, like, hey, it might happen. You never know. You never know. Uh, let's see. Uh, any schemes you like today? Be oh yeah, there you go. Like I, I almost read your mind there. So yeah, I did like. Uh, let's see. Who else can I throw in there? A lot of people like the Kyle Busch scheme, even though you get, didn't get to see it that much. I like, uh, I know some people hate it because they just don't like the law firm, especially people in Florida. Um, but uh, I, I like the, I like that the lawyer puts his face on the hood. I think it's pretty funny. So uh, I, it, it's not a good looking scheme. Actually, it is a good looking scheme, but some people hate that he puts his face on the hood. So uh, I think it's funny. Uh, anytime there's a face on the hood, I'm kind of a sucker for that. I think it's, I think it's hilarious. Uh, Joe Logano eats uh, Hunt Brothers pizza with a bottle of Coke. For sure, for sure. While driving his uh, his auto trader bought uh, vehicle to pick it up. Uh, let's make some parlays. Uh, it's me, your friend, uh, saying. Uh, let's see. I did myself a favor uh, after watching the Xfinity highlights. Passed on uh, watching today's race. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's definitely one one way to go about it. If it's a track that you don't necessarily particularly care for, uh, the highlights are not necessarily a bad way uh, to go about it. Howdy from the Great White North. What's up, Robin Marks? What's up, Canada Chrome Diesel? What's up, my man? Good to see you on here, as always. Christopher, uh, Christopher Bell Ream Scheme looked really good. Yeah. I wish they would do just a little bit more toward the back of it, but uh, other than that, uh, I think they could make the logo maybe bigger on the back, but other than that, it was good. Uh, B saying, what's up, the Chrome? Uh, Denny Hamlin's paint scheme was simple. Yeah, so Denny Hamlin, as, as crazy as it is, Denny Hamlin's scheme is absolutely polarizing. And it's literally just a red car with white numbers. And some people either like the simplicity of that or some people absolutely hate the simplicity of that. I like it. I like red cars. So uh, it reminds me of Tracy Le Leslie's uh, Detroit Gasket, uh, number 72, uh, from the Bush series back in the day. Let me pull that up. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are not going to know what in the world I'm talking about there. So let me, uh, let me pull this one up real quick. Let me drop it down here in the chat in case you're curious. Okay. That wasn't the only throwback we had because Noah Gregson's car looked exactly like uh, Danica Patrick's Go Daddy. or at least reminded a lot of people of it. So we actually had two throwback cars uh, in this particular race. Uh, what's the one that would be closer? We'll go with this one. Let's see here. So yeah, not even uh, not even uh, Darlington Southern 500 time, and we've got uh, two throwbacks. So there you go. The first one is Tracy Leslie's number 72, and the other one is uh, Danica Patrick. So we had two throwback cars today. Noah throwing it back to Danica. Not really, but but it's 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 good fun. Uh, and uh, Denny Hamlin throwing it back to uh, Bush Grand National legend Tracy Leslie. Uh, let's see, man, these cars will never uh, race good uh, here or short tracks I, I, until they do something with them. Like Mark Martin actually had a tweet uh, either before the race started or last night where he was like back when I was racing, and he, he listed off all the details of, of what the the numbers were when he was racing. And he's like, I don't know why we ever got away from those numbers. Uh, so. Uh, Mark Martin has his own uh, particular fix for the issue as well. 
seriously need to get off of the uh, Phoenix as the championship race. Atlanta, Bristol, Homestead uh, would all be uh, way better, says I say, Kyle. I mean, I don't disagree with you. Could you imagine? Could you imagine how wild a Bristol championship race would be? Like that would be uh, that would be a pretty good one, I think. Uh, do you think Seabell's setup will be uh, as dominant in the championship race? I don't know, uh, Perry Earl, because remember when uh, Brad Keselowski tried that? Brad Keselowski tried the exact same setup uh, when he was he was still with Penske. He tried the exact same set, setup they had at Phoenix. Uh, he didn't want a single thing changed, even though the season had gone uh, as long as it had gone and they had learned all these other things. Uh, and he didn't run good. He didn't, he didn't run good uh, in the championship race. Uh, the year. And it might not have been the championship race. It might not have been a Phoenix. But I remember there was something. It was either a cutoff race or it was the championship race. I, I might have it misremembered. Uh, but either way, Brad Keselowski tried that, uh, and it, it just didn't transfer and, and do the exact same. Uh, Beth Mullins is uh, announcing the Knicks Sixers game on ESPN. I know her name was brought up in the free race stream. So, yeah, uh, I think say Kyle, well, it might no, I don't, don't, don't let me get put out the wrong names. I think somebody said her her name was like, yeah, I think it was say Kyle. Uh, I'll stick with it. I think her he said her uh, voice to him is like nails on the chalkboard. And I said, we've all got an announcer like that uh, for uh, for one of us. Mine back in the day was Billy Packer. It wasn't so much necessarily his voice. He was just overall annoying. He was generally just uh, – he just seemed like an annoying, uh, disgruntled old man, which uh, – which I aspire to be one day. One day, I, we're, we're rapidly approaching disgruntled old man. Every day I walk out in the yard praying that somebody's in it so I can scream at him to get out of it. Uh, so uh, we'll see. Now, after this race, uh, now I know where uh, they can get the uh, race date to go uh, for, for north or uh, south of the border, says uh, Escobar. So he, he's thinking Phoenix doesn't need two races. And look, if Phoenix is the championship race, you don't really need two races there because nobody needs a practice run. That, that's going to make the championship race more interesting. You can make that argument. I'm not saying I believe in that, but that argument can be made. Uh, let's see. Uh, Noah's car didn't remind me of Danica's, but then again, I didn't see it smashed uh, all to hell. Uh, and Luke, leaking fluid crippled on the front stretch. Uh, that's, uh, that's a fair point. Uh, John Hunter Nemechek, gonna, somebody, oh, God, somebody was, somebody savagely posted happy, happy, uh, International Woman's Day, and it was a montage of Danica Patrick crashing into uh, crashing, just or driving, whatever you know. I was like, man, that was that was that was savage. I forgot who did it. It was somebody relatively famous. I want to say uh, John Hunter Nemechek, uh, gonna get all that uh, smoke next week. Oh yeah, so that's uh, that's what that good thing. Appreciate you there, one wise guy. I did want to talk about that. This isn't the first time John Hunter Nemechek has has rubbed into somebody or run over him, but. Uh, the, the best way to say it is he is 100% picked the wrong one. Uh, Joey, Joey Logano is not the guy who you want to test. And with Bristol and Martinsville coming up, dollars to donuts, John Hunter Nemechek gets repaid in the next two or three weeks uh, by Joey Logano. Dollars to donuts. Almost uh, locking in. Joey Logano, uh, if he is in a situation and sees fit, uh, he's he's gonna he's gonna move he's gonna do something to John Hunter Nemechek just like he did to Ty Gibbs uh, at Martinsville last year. Uh, how appropriate the uh, 20 car and the 17 car finished one two in the hands of uh, Christopher and Christopher Show uh, considering today is Matt Kenseth's birthday and that it was his uh, final career win came at Phoenix. Look at look at you NASCAR fan. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is a, that is a good statistic. I'm I'm, uh, I'm all here for it. Uh, kudos to you, my friend. That's that was a good uh, that was a good stat. I didn't know I didn't know any of that, so that's really cool. Uh, Spicy Joey uh, for the rest of the season says one wise guy. Yeah, this uh, look and, and, and here's the other thing I wanted to talk about with the points. Like the, the crazy thing about the points uh, is right here. Let's look at uh, let's see Noah Gregson with the penalty, even though he's had all those good runs, twenty sixth in points right now, so he's he's coming. Uh, let's see Joey Logano. Former series champion, 30th, currently 30th in points. Josh Berry, currently 31st in points. Uh, Austin Dillon, if he can make it past lap 10, he gets a good finish. Unfortunately, uh, for uh, uh, I would say at least three out of the four races, he hasn't made it past lap 10 without some type of damage. Uh, sitting in 32nd in points, uh, without uh, an exception of Josh Berry, we've seen Austin Dillon, we've seen Joey Logano go into the playoffs, at least to the round of uh, 12, right? So, you got some. You got some heavy hitters here who have not had a good start to the season. Ryan Priest, uh, even worse, of course, had the penalty, but he's sitting thirty fifth 
uh, in points. A lot of people were uh, expecting or hoping he would have a good season. So you've got some guys down here that could still shake up the points as it stands. Brad Keselowski, he doesn't seem like he's had a terrible start to the season, but he's sitting here 22nd in points. So uh, even with all the good runs he's had, he's had some bad luck too. Don't forget about all the DNFs he's had. So there's some guys sitting down here uh, deep in the points. So the, the point situation is going to get tight really fast. Uh, in my opinion, because I, I fully expect Joey Logano to win a race. It's an even year. Joey, Joey Logano typically does good in even years. So, I mean, the 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 point, the whole points thing is just going to be shaken up. So it's really interesting to track it as it stands now. But I definitely was not expecting Brad Keselowski and Joey Logano to be as far back in points as they are right now with how good that they have run uh, thus far in the season. So, yeah, uh, good comment. Definitely wanted to touch on that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Brad Keselowski uses consumer wireless um, let's see. Uh, what's up, NASCAR fan? Nine, uh, nine three one hundred. I uh, gotta narrow the tires to generate heat. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. The tires are way too wide. That's definitely part of the problem, Cody. I uh, hundred percent agree with you. I don't know how NASCAR's engineers did not tell them this. Yeah, I think the engineers straight could have told them to their face. I just think NASCAR is is in this mood right now where they they're gonna do what they're gonna do, and that's just the way it's gonna be. Uh, let's see. You got a super chat down here. Let me uh, jump down here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Robin Marks, appreciate you, my friend, with the fist bump. Let's see. Uh, Ross uh, should have won given the way he drove today. Uh, lonely Chevy bouncing off the wall, etc. Joey was so sad. Yeah, he'll be spicy, so look out. Uh, not a Joey fan. Uh, he's great in the booth, though. Uh, but definitely uh, go Ross. Yeah, 100%, man. Like, uh, he's not going to get talked about a lot today. And at one point, he did get run into the wall. I forgot who ran him into the wall. Uh Man, who was it? But, yeah, Ross got ran into the wall, much like uh, Eric, Eric Jones did, but uh, he didn't bend anything, and Ross just kept going. And Ross didn't have the fastest car today, but this is one of those tracks for Ross. Ross, kind of like Kevin Harvick, has sort of figured this place out. So no matter what you give him here, he's going to have a good run there. So uh, he definitely led the way. He was a highest finishing uh, Chevrolet, so I think he led the way for Chevrolet with a fourth place, um, a sixth place. Uh, so sixth place was the highest finish in Chevy, but but other than that, like sixth place, the next closest Chevrolet was his teammate Daniel Suarez in 13th. So think about how much better uh, Ross Chastain, uh, his team strategized, and how much better he drove than the rest of the Chevrolet drivers to finish sixth when the next closest guy in a Chevrolet was uh, 13th. Ross Chastain definitely knows how to get around this place. So uh, if they give him anything, if he makes the Final Four and they give him anything for the Final Four, there's a good chance uh, – he could repeat what he did last year by winning, except this time if he makes the Final Four and wins, of course, much better situation. Uh, BD, will Ty Gibbs win uh, the championship this year, says OJ and Toothpaste? I tell you what, man, I wouldn't sleep on him. I'm not expecting him to win the championship this year, but I do expect him to contend. I do think he'll win a race. Uh, I think he was all over it this, this uh, particular race. He just had a short-run car compared to his other uh, Toyota teammates who had long-run cars. So, yeah, I expect Ty Gibbs uh, to be all over top of it. In fact, with the exception of Legacy, I think I think Eric Jones might could get a win at Legacy, <clears throat> especially at Darlington. But with the exception of Legacy, I would say all the other uh, Toyota teams, each of their drivers will get at least one win. I think 23-11, both of their drivers will get a win. And I think everybody at Gibbs uh, will get a win, too. So uh, I think Toyota is going to figure it out bef before Ford. Uh, but I think Ford gets it figured out about halfway through the season, too. So uh, I'm looking for uh, Chevrolet about halfway through the season to have a, a big fall off. Uh, let's see. Uh, say, Kyle, uh, oh, God, poor uh, Nixon 76ers fan. Yeah, it was uh, me who brought her up earlier. Uh, so say, Kyle, uh, one wise guy saying what's up to NASCAR fan. And NASCAR fan saying what's up to wise guy. Uh, Roy saying glad I didn't uh, drive to the race. Horrendous races, uh, says Roy. So uh, he uh, he's glad he didn't uh, cash in on a ticket. He didn't want to He didn't want to watch the uh, product on track today. Uh, I miss pre-2011 Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, all they got to do is move the start finish line uh, to be. That would basically fix a lot of it. Uh, or was was tw pre pre twenty eleven before they had the ex exaggerated dog leg? I don't know. Uh, I have to go back and look. They they configured it a few different times, but it used to be a really fun racetrack. They had some good finishes there. How long will it take for uh, Joseph Logano to turn his season around? I know it's early. I think he's gonna. I think he's going to uh, get a, a. He's gonna get a win here relatively soon, I would say. That, that's my feeling. I, I feel like Joey Logano is going to get a win pretty soon here, uh, which might be the saving grace for John Hunter Nemechek. Like, if Joey Logano is running good at Bristol or Martinsville, he probably won't fool with uh, John Hunter Nemechek. 
because he'll go out there and try to get that win. But believe me, Joey Logano is not going to forget. He is going to uh, he's going to he's going to pull uh, he's going to pull the uh, the rookie's chain there, no doubt about it. Uh, Hendrick is trash, uh, says Roy. Uh, C. Bell is wishing this package uh, had been implemented last year. He might have been champion. Uh, says Kevin S. I tell you what, man, we don't know what uh, we don't know what Christopher Bell had last year because he had that weird brake rotor failure. Like he had some weird brake failure last year. I don't I don't know that there's anything he could have done last year because I feel like it was just a brake malfunction. So he was uh, just bad luck. Which one will we see first? Uh, John Hunter Nemechek versus Gibbs or uh, Joey versus John Hunter Nemechek? Uh, what if we get a triple threat match? Like there's there's an option we get a triple threat match. Like what if what if Gibbs and John Hunter team up on Joey Logano? Because uh, if you stack them on top of their shoulders, they're probably the same height as Joey Logano. Uh, so that would maybe even out the fight. Uh, triple threat match where they just sort of team up on Joey Logano. So uh, let's uh, let's keep that. Uh, I'm joke. By the way, I'm joking. Uh, nothing against. Uh, I always, whenever I do these jokes about fighting people, people are like, "Wow, oh, there there was a guy that literally wrote like a a two page uh, dissertation and essay as to why Joey Logano is probably the best fighter in NASCAR." And I was like, "Dude, it's not that serious. I was just joking." So I got to I got to be careful uh, when I make these jokes because some people some people really take it to heart. Uh, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, Joey uh, will uh, send John Hunter Nemechek for a ride, says Perry Earl. Uh, Dylan and Brad uh, <laughs> have, have negative points, uh, says uh, one wise guy. Uh, John Hunter Nemechek, I'm Austin Dillon, man. He's He's got like Justin Algar, Sam Mayer look uh, the past two seasons. John Hunter Nemechek is in trouble. He made uh, poor old jo jo Joey mess up his uh, wig, says Escobar. Uh, not touching that one. Not touching that one. Let's see. Uh, Hendricks never went a uh, lap down base, says one wise guy. Hey, there you go. They uh, they did at least uh, they they at least stayed a lap up. Look, they had speed today. They just uh, at the end they had not as good a strategy as everybody else uh, for track position, which was to me the biggest deal today, and that that's part of the problem. That is the poll question. Uh, what's the biggest problem? The package, the track, the car, the tires. Right now, with fifty four votes in, forty four percent saying the package. Uh, let's see. So get your vote in if you want to see that change. Uh, congratulations to Toyota for winning the championship. Says Dirty Death. Yeah, I mean, look, as far as raw speed goes, though, nobody was touching Toyota today. So those other guys better get to the uh, get to the wind tunnel, get to the simulator, uh, do whatever they got to do. Uh, in between the lanes, congrats on embarrassing my magic the other night. And uh, condolences for having to listen to, to uh, Moens tonight. So say, Kyle, well, let's see, uh, big modified race in Sobo in a couple of weeks, says Krusty. Uh, I might be there. And definitely, definitely, if you go there, Krusty, definitely get you some bologna burgers. That's one of the uh, world famous bologna burgers. Uh, is it South Boston, if not the most famous uh, bologna burger? Chevy's were horrible. Uh, <clears throat> he should have had a top five but uh, or so, but didn't have the car uh, to play defense like he usually does. Uh, talking about Ross, yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, Chevy is uh, turned to junk, says uh, Roy. I mean, it's one race. Let's not <laughs> – they've won, what, three three out of four? How many races have we had now? What race is this? What race are we up to? They, they've won all the races except this one. So I'm not going to say they're junk, but they definitely don't have the best short track package. Uh, when it comes to the actual short track package itself, it looks like uh, Toyota and Ford are uh, light years ahead of them, especially with the new car, and it's only going to get worse, right? So uh, John Hunter Nemechek went full uh, wrecking ball this weekend. Uh, yeah, yeah, some people uh, some people have said he's done that all season. It just depends on who you ask. Uh, let's see. Uh, you missed my comment above about the Fords. Let's see, Bruce, what did I miss here? Do -do 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 do 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 Glad to see the Fords finished halfway decent with some strategy. Yeah, for sure. Definitely, uh, definitely was a strategy race. But they had speed to keep it too. So uh, that's what I'm saying. They were definitely, uh, at, le at least at the end, they were definitely faster than the Chevys and the the, the pit strategy to get them track position. <clears throat> Which, uh, if you were on the Discord, that's what I was talking about. I said uh, it would be it would be interesting to see Blaney, or uh, at the time it was Blaney and Brad Keselowski if they got track position because I was looking at their lap times. They did have speed. Uh, the package was even worse, says Dirty Def. Yeah, I, I got to put it on the package because we've seen good races at Phoenix. We just haven't seen good races with this car and with this package. So we know that the the good race is in the track. So I'm not I, to me personally. I know this might sway the poll, but to me personally, I feel like it's either the car or the package. One or the other. Uh, needs to be fixed. Uh, great cast. Uh, thank you. Says Roy. No problem, my friend. Always glad to jump on here and talk with everybody that wants to talk. Uh, SHR is still strong in uh, other top ten, and Noah Gregson ran well. 
Uh, Ryan Priest made a gamble, uh, and it sucks for Josh Berry. Yeah, I was really expecting Josh Berry to have a much better season. Uh, Ryan Priest, too. I was expecting him to come out. Uh, but SHR has had good equipment so far. Uh, they've had good finishes, good runs. Uh, it's just been two two out of the four have had good runs, and uh, the other two have not uh, so far. And, of course, the point the points penalty uh, definitely hurting uh, Ryan Priest. Good uh, good job, John Hunter, <laughs> says Krusty. So Krusty is happy uh, with what John Hunter did. Uh, say Kyle, uh, she also does uh, Cubs games, uh, also uh, college football and basketball as well. Uh, so mad Hendrick uh, was so bad today, says Roy. Uh, I'm not mad. I mean, just every once in a while. It just shows you what the issue with it is. Uh, if Chevrolet is off or if Hendrick is on, like, is Chevrolet really that good or is Hendrick that good, I guess was what I was actually trying to say. So, like, if, if Chevrolet is not getting propped up by Trackhouse and Hendrick, they, they've typically had bad races. Like, last year, Kyle, uh, Kyle Busch uh, was, was holding them up as well with uh, at least the first half of the season with RCR. Uh, but this season, uh, the, car, the car is just older. Like, Toyota and Ford have learned things with this body. And they've gotten better, and their new body is is uh, starting to show uh, the fruit of that, right? So uh, the longer this season goes on, there's a possibility that, that the gap gets even bigger between uh, you know uh, Ford and Toyota and Chevrolet. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Kyle Larson was on a milk carton today, uh, worst race he's had in a while since Dirty Death. Yeah, I mean the the tale of two weeks, right? Last week hero, this week zero. Uh, William Byron debuted uh, the Raptor scheme as well today. Alex Bowman debuted the Ally uh, Best Friend scheme. I will say this. This is the best Raptor scheme that I've seen. Uh, I know Say Kyle disagrees. He liked the one from last year. Uh, but I thought this has been the, be the best Raptor scheme that I've seen so far. Uh, <clears throat> Roy agrees. Uh, Krusty saying, yes, sir. Adding horsepower won't turn things around drastically. The car as a whole needs an overhaul. Uh, yeah. Uh, writing an essay on why Joey uh, isn't a sissy, LOL, says one wise guy. I, I mean, I kid you not. Somebody somebody took it serious, what I said, uh, maybe two or three weeks ago. Uh <laughs> so uh, I'm, I, I try to just let everybody know I'm joking. I uh, don't get uh, don't get worked up about it. Uh, I wish they kept uh, Byron's Raptor scheme from last year. Majority of the car uh, in puke green color uh, isn't a good look in my opinion. I, I don't know, man. I like the safety yellow. Safety yellow works for me. So uh, it was, it's better than the than the white and safety yellow. As long as they take all the white off of it, uh, they they could go all black and the gray. The gray and the white is what doesn't work. So as long as it's black. And safety, safety yellow. Those two colors work in in whichever whichever direction you want to go with it. BB, uh, were you impressed with HMS today? Says OJ and Two Face. Uh, I tell you, I mean, look, I was looking at their lap times. The speed wasn't off. I wasn't impressed with the strategy to where where they got themselves uh, bad track position. So uh, that that to be would be the biggest thing. They did the opposite of what RFK did. They they had poor track position. Bristol next week. Uh, and it ain't on dirt. Uh, Woohoo, says Krusty. Uh, who is your early front runner to replace Harrison Burton next season? Uh, he just hasn't shown he's a cup level talent at this point. I uh, don't see anything changing anytime soon. I mean, I would have to say it's got to be either Cole Custer or Riley Herbst, right? So those would be uh, those would be my two front runners there, Jesse. Uh, probably Riley Herbst, uh, as far as that goes, because uh, because Cole Custer will probably uh, he'll probably be in the Chevrolet camp when uh, Stuart Haas Racing uh, switches over to Chevrolet. Uh, I'm just, I'm just kidding. That's just trolling. I have no idea what Stuart Haas Racing is going to do, but I do think they'll switch manufacturers, and I do think it'll probably be one that already exists, because uh, you know the other ones, they wouldn't be ready for next season. Uh, Chevrolet dropped the ball. TRD and Ford way ahead in racing. Says Roy, uh, BD, do you think uh, our first uh, NASCAR fight this year will happen soon? Uh yeah. I mean, I think, uh, I think we're getting to that point in the season where uh, some people are starting to get rubbed the wrong way. Noah was lucky to get out of Legacy. He's been running better in a slow car, SHR car than uh, both Legacy cars. That's what I'm trying to say, man. That 42 car, the 43 car at Legacy is fine. The 42 car has always been way off, uh, relative. Uh, I can't uh, wait until uh, I go to uh, WW uh, Worldwide Technology Speedway, says John Forrester. I heard that's a really nice one. So I think you'll have a good time there. Ryan Priest uses United Rentals. Indeed, he does. So I was a little disappointed in Harrison today, he didn't accomplish his only job, spinning out on his own and smacking the wall with 20 to go, which is a little bit of a letdown. So, yeah, the uh, the built-in caution uh, didn't uh, happen. I'm joking, uh, Harrison Burton fans. Uh, Harrison Burton out there living out his dreams, so hopefully he gets it turned around soon. Uh, aloha, Dennis. Hope you're doing good today, my friend. Aloha to uh, all the friends in Hawaii. 
Uh, Gregson is, uh, has his swag back, says Roy. Yeah, confidence is a, is a huge part of the deal for sure. We've seen epic championship Phoenix Phoenix finishes with Xfinity uh, and the trucks. That, that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't think it's the track. We've seen the other the other cars run good. So if NASCAR can figure out a package with this car to make them run like those cars, uh, I think we could see something like that. I will cheer on SHR and have uh, all the shirts ready to go, says John Forrester. I mean, SHR, like, they're not nearly as bad as they were last season. Let's 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 at least uh, give credit where credit's due. Uh, take away half the rubber for uh, the short track package. Uh, Uno Tread, I'm with you. I'm with you, Marin. I think that's the biggest issue. The tires are way too wide, way too wide for a short track and the transmission they're running. Uh, Winston Cup style points. Top five is uh, Blaney, Gibbs, Chastain, Truex, and Byron. That 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 tracks because my eyeball test when I'm just watching it, just watching it. Those those are the guys. I feel like who have had the best season. I would put Joey Logano in there as well, except he keeps wrecking. I would put Kyle Busch in there as well, except he keeps having issues on pit road. And today they just missed the setup. So there, there was nothing he could do today. But uh, every race previous to this, he's just had an issue on pit road or something like that. Uh, take away uh, half the rubber. I just read that one. Let's see. Uh, what's up, Lovey? Good to see you on here, my friend. Uh, if you want to check out the uh, merch store, where we've got uh, sweatshirts like I was wearing on the first podcast, uh, or the, not podcast, the first live stream today. Uh, we've got those hats and T-shirts, so if you want to check them out, feel free to check those out. And if you want to join the Discord server, where I jump on there and usually try to talk uh, while the race, or chat while the race is going on, uh, feel, feel free to join the Discord. How will Bristol uh, race be next week? I didn't think the fall night race was that uh, good. Xfinity uh, has a better race uh, than Cup last fall. <clears throat> Hopefully Bristol's good. Uh, hit the like button. It's free uh, uh, support. Yeah, so if you want to hit the like button, it would be much appreciated. Uh, one good call, uh, one wise guy. I forgot. Uh, LOL says, I uh, say, Kyle, uh, all of the above is my answer uh, to your poll, but uh, mainly uh, say the car and the package, says Napa Racing Fan. That's that's sort of where I would be split on. I don't know if it's the car. I don't know if it's the package. I feel like the, if you get the right package in there, you can definitely fix the car. I don't think the car is necessarily uh, unfixable for short track racing. So uh, I would say it's the package if I had to, uh, if I was pressed on it. Uh, will Chase ever win, says Roy. I think he'll win. He had a good car today. He just, they had poor strategy uh, and stuff like that. And then uh, I don't think it was him, but I think one of the Hendrick cars had an issue on pit road where they couldn't get the, couldn't get the tire on properly. It might've been Chase. I don't know. Uh, what do you think the uh, threes problem is? Just so far this season, he's run into other cars. He's had bad luck. The one race that he actually finished, he got like a, a decent solid uh, top 15 or top 12, somewhere in there. Uh, Alan Gustafson needs to be fired, says Royce. Uh, there we go. Uh, he won him a championship. I've never understood that one, but a lot of Chase Elliott fans do uh, want to move on from Alan, Alan Gustafson. I, I will say this. There's a lot of people that would be happy to have Alan Gustafson. So if, he, uh, if they do part ways with him, I uh, don't expect him to stay on the shelf long. This past week, Pat McAfee gave a shout-out to NASCAR and Kyle Larson uh, went in, in Vegas, says, in between the lanes. I'll tell you something else that uh, sort of flew under the radar. I knew about it when it happened, but I didn't make an episode about it. But, but Kyle Larson is signed with uh, Logan Paul's Prime Prime Energy drink. So Kyle Larson is a Prime Energy uh, person now. Uh, I thought that was interesting. Tire wear seemed to be uh, good today. Uh, that's a positive, at least. Uh, Escobar saying, other than the uh, Indy 500, do uh, Indy fans – I really care about the rest of the season. Uh, I think Indy, Indy, Indy car fans do, but probably NASCAR fans, not so much. Uh, casual fans, I would say, probably not so much. Uh, Ross Chastain and Kyle Busch, and I would say probably casual fans feel the same way about uh, NASCAR. They, they watch the Daytona 500 and maybe a few other races. Uh, <clears throat> Ross Chastain and Kyle Busch uh, both had a horrible race. Uh, I, I mean, Ross Chastain had a pretty good race, I thought. Like, he ended up... Uh, if he had had some track position, there's no telling where he would have finished. But he did end up finishing sixth, uh, and he was uh, several several positions ahead of the next closest Chevrolet. So I, I thought Ross had a good race. Uh, let's see. Hendrick cars were uh, screwed by three cautions in a row uh, at the beginning of stage three. Yeah, it could be. Like like I said, their strategy was was off, but their, their lap times were not nearly as bad as their results showed. Uh was that the uh, GoDaddy on the uh, number 10, says Aaron Flynn? So there you go. We uh, we, we had talked about that earlier. Uh, I, I even posted the pictures of uh, he was running the throwback and Denny Hamlin was running the throwback to Tracy Leslie. Uh, so, yeah, for sure, it, it was very reminiscent of Danica's number 10. Uh, the only exception being this one ran in the top 10 uh, for parts of the race and actually finished well. Uh, SVG said on uh, Harvick's podcast that Icota 
may be tricky because he's used to uh, having to go back to uh, track limits a lot more than he's uh, seen in NASCAR. Uh, could that make a difference? Uh, I don't know, but but shout out to uh, it could it could I see what you're saying, but I uh, <clears throat> I did want to say shout out to SVG because uh, he seems to be picking up the circle track racing pretty quickly. Like very very impressed with that. Uh, so uh, I did want to give out a shout out to him. Uh, the best car and driver one day says Napa Racing fan. Oh, no doubt about it. The best team won. There's no doubt about that. Uh, and and the guy that never gets talked about, Christopher Bell, once again just just doing what he does, just want to race. And just, nobody will probably still talk about him. All the conversation will probably be about how terrible uh, Phoenix, uh, the Phoenix race was and how Toyota has an advantage. And once again, it'll get glossed over that Christopher Bell won a race and, and uh, absolutely uh, had the best team, best car today, best strategy. Uh, let's see. Uh, any car had a decent race today. Just uh, New Garden was unstoppable. I like how they're starting to uh, highlight pit crew members. So that's one good thing. Let's give a shout out to Fox for some of the good things they do. They're, they're putting the emphasis back on the teams now. So I thought that is really good. Somebody else brought that up. So that is definitely uh, – Definitely a good thing that they're doing. <clears throat> uh, without uh, incidents, the winner uh, of the race was going to be either the 11, the 45, or the 43, says Lovey. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily disagree with you there. I think all of them, if if, uh, if the 43 hadn't got, uh, you know, basically put into the wall or whatever, I think he would have been fine. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a race fan, but uh, IndyCar hasn't been uh, that good in the past few years. That's the problem with both uh, NASCAR and IndyCar uh, spec cars. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely uh, – there's definitely uh, something to be said about spec cars. A lot of people don't like them. Uh, Andretti needs to buy IndyCar, uh, says Roy. Uh, you have to buy it from Penske, though. Uh, that's the other thing. Andretti might be uh, the, the talks of Andretti coming to Cup is heating up. Cringy uh, Danica GoDaddy vibes, says one wise guy. Uh, Denny's car was so generic, says Dirty Biff. Uh, what was with RCR today? Slowest Chevys on the track, not to mention Ford and Toyota, says Ronald. They just don't have a good short. They just don't have a good... Uh, they don't have a good feel on the uh, setups for the short tracks. They got to work on it. Uh, SVG is going to be good, says Roy. I think so too. We got to uh, we got Sarah Pro locally. Uh, the whole building looks like that. Any fans? I uh, love the series. It's driving uh, a jet fighter on a closed course, like driving a jet fighter on a closed course. Uh, how about uh, Gregson? He was uh, racing very well. Yeah, Noah Noah has carried SHR thus far, uh, and uh, definitely not the driver a lot of people were picking to lead. A lot of people uh, were leaning toward uh, Chase Briscoe, myself included, Chase Briscoe or Josh Berry. Uh, I knew Noah Gregson would be uh, focused, but I didn't know he would come out this focused. Uh, so uh, good for him. Uh, good for him. Uh, Bell is the uh, best driver at JGR. They have a uh, stacked driver lineup, but Bell is the clear number one. I agree with you, Napa Racing fan. I've been saying Bell is the clear number one for a while now. So I'm glad uh, I'm glad a lot more people are, uh, are agreeing with that now. Uh, should NASCAR use the uh, Supercar Series tires? Uh, says Baron, that would be tricky. That would be tricky. Uh, are they made? Uh, I, I don't know even who makes them over there. So that would be the first hurdle. If they're if they're not made by Goodyear, uh, would they would they be able to do that? So, uh, but yeah, some fall off would be good. Having having a few different sets uh, would be good too. Sort of like they do in IndyCar, where you've got hards and softs and stuff like that. Uh, well, I'm not IndyCar, but F1. Uh, what was the uh, worst finish for uh, Chevy uh, in the next gen era? Oh, I don't know. I have, that's that's a good question. Uh, IndyCar race is greater than uh, NASCAR Phoenix, uh, says Napa. Uh, Bell had no pit issues. Uh, they were locked in today. Yeah, that's 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 another thing. Just like uh, in football, uh, you want to have no or as few penalties as possible. You want to have a clean sheet, is what they say at the end of the end of the day in football games. Uh, same thing with racing. You want to have a clean sheet. You don't want to you don't want to hurt yourself on pit road, and you don't want to make any mistakes uh, that'll cost you positions. And that's uh, that's what they did. Loney, when does uh, a Speedway start their season? Uh, I think it's in I think it's in March, uh, so it, it's sometime this month. I'm convinced the dog leg and partly the reconfiguration uh, made Phoenix worse. I think the old classic layout was better. Yeah, I think a lot of people agree that the old layout was better. BB, have you seen the video of how other drivers really feel about Danica before? Super funny. Basically, a radio actor, uh, radioactive of drivers keying the mic about her. It's hysterical. Yeah, it's uh. She was not uh, as beloved uh, by the drivers, uh, on the track at least, uh, as uh, as she was by the fans. Uh, yeah, Briscoe got lucky. They flipped uh, the field. Uh, Noah seems locked in with this crew, uh, chief, uh, uh, crew chief and uh, solid pit crew. Uh, says, Brett, would you, be a, uh, would you be for a push to pass button and cup? I think it would be interesting uh, to see when it's used. I think if we just fix the package, we wouldn't have to do anything like that. So uh, I think uh, I think if they fix the package, we wouldn't have to worry about stuff like that. 
Uh, my first correct uh, preseason pick says uh, Cade. So there you go, Cade. You got it right. Uh, BB, it's nice to finally see a consistent good driver uh, in the 20 now. Hey, yeah, for sure. Uh, Ricky liked it for a minute. Yeah. Uh, there was there was a reason for that, though. He, he was allowed to touch. So that, that probably paid, played a big factor into it. Uh, but even even that didn't uh, even that didn't last. So uh, there you go. All right, let's see. My favorite my favorite part is when they tell Kenseth to line up behind the ten car, and he responds behind the ten. Uh, she's on the lead lap. Oh my gosh! All right, in bewilderment. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I've seen that one before. Uh, there, there's just the montage of drivers <laughs> saying uh, saying not so sweet things about old Danica. Uh, 11 should, uh, should have the, uh, old throwback, uh, Budweiser paint scheme, uh, says like, dislike. I mean, it was pretty similar to that. They just needed a different 11 font. Uh, today was the, uh, Toyota, Toyota owners 500 presented by the, uh, bad short track package as an app racing fan. Uh, I think it's nice that any car, uh, start times are ahead of NASCAR races, uh, more often this season. Yeah. I, I do like it that they're working together. That's, that's totally uh, a really smart move. I agree with that. Uh, see Kyle, uh, they tell, uh, peace out. Hopefully Bristol is better next week. I agree with you, Dirty Biff. I hope I hope Bristol uh, comes through for us. Uh, Bristol, I'm always excited to see the races there. So hopefully it is a good one. Uh, I'm surprised any car hasn't done a, a DRS system like F1. I feel like it's coming, Escobar. Uh, BB, do you want NASCAR to have the clash at uh, Dodger Stadium? I don't know about want to, but of, of the options, if we're going to be forced to race in California, that that's not the worst option. Since uh, Steve Phelps has come out and said, we're going to race in Southern California next year. So, uh, Maybe that's the best option. I don't know. I need to see the other options on the table. Kern County, a lot of people want that one. I put the number back on the door. Uh, I think a lot of people agree with that. Uh, Bristol next. Does Xfinity run there, too? Would love to uh, meet Haley Deegan, says Cooter Yeti. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, what's the point system look like on Earth 2? Oh, that's a good question. It's wide open. Wide open. I want to say uh, on Earth 2, Kaz Grala is the leader. Uh, let's see. Busy day of racing, uh, NASCAR, IndyCar, and NHRA. It was. It's that time of season. Uh, supercars use Dunlop, uh, says Walter Flair. So, yeah, I can't remember uh, who owns Dunlop. I want to say I want to say Michelin owns Dunlop, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I'd like to see Dodger Stadium, but I might be wrong. It might be it might be Goodyear that owns Dunlop. Uh, I'd like to see Dodger Stadium uh, if they run an uh, awkward track layout. Otherwise, I'd like to see them do uh, some, some type of street circuit in L.A. Uh, I mean, Long Beach. The, the Long Beach circuit has got to be up there too. Like, so would you rather see uh, would you rather see Dodger Stadium or Long Beach? That would be the question. Uh, Xfinity won't be at Bristol, says Icade, and I have no idea about the actual geography of Southern California, but I feel like Long Beach is in Southern California because uh, uh, Snoop Dogg talks about it in a song, so I feel like it's got to be close to L.A. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've never been to Long Beach, uh, but I heard that's the spot where he serves his cane. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, but don't lose your grip. Let's see. Uh, I'd like to see uh, Dodger Stadium if they run an awkward track layout. Otherwise, I'd like to see them uh, do uh, some type of uh, street circuit in L.A. I don't know how realistic that would be, though. Yes, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Long Beach is the answer to that question. I know I read it twice, but I was pondering it. Xfinity won't be at Bristol. Uh, so no Xfinity at Bristol. So uh, no Xfinity. Uh, you'll have to wait for the uh, for the second run into Bristol for uh, Miss Deegan uh, to make her Xfinity a series appearance there. Winston style points Hill and uh, Smith are tied for the lead. Uh, then there's Creed, Custer, Jones, and Love. So there you go. Got a tie for the lead in Winston Cup style in the uh, Bush series. NASCAR doesn't need Dodger Stadium. We don't need another tricky triangle. That's Pocono's trademark, says Napa. Yeah, I'm just saying if, if NASCAR is going to force a race in California, those are those are the two. Laguna Seca. Oh, Laguna Seca, that's the best option, I say, Kyle. Good point. Uh, Long Beach. Long Beach is great, says Roy. Uh, uh, how did uh, Stewart do? Uh, says T Van. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't catch. Uh, I didn't catch the NHRA. BB, uh, what network uh, broadcast Earth Earth Two Cup races? Uh, <clears throat> public public broadcast. Uh, public broadcast and YouTube. So it's always free. Uh, thanks to viewers like you. Uh, Goodyear uh, owns Dunlop, so Goodyear does own, own, own Dunlop, so they could use the exact same compound, just slap Goodyear on it, so there you go, that tracks, uh, that's a good one, uh, let's see, uh, ex exhibition races have ran off uh, its course, these gimmicks like stage breaks, uh, we will see every weekend, uh, yeah, I don't disagree with you there, Chrome, I think uh, I think a lot of that stuff, the gimmicks have uh, out-gimmicked themselves, does anyone know where you can get a uh, full NHRA schedule, uh, NHRA.com, I'm sure has it, uh, off the top of my head, and probably uh, if you look at the sponsors, sometimes the sponsors will have displays where you can pick up a schedule as well. 
Uh, Danica Patrick shirt says, uh, does not play well with others, uh, says Baron Von Weaves. Uh, a truer shirt has never been made, Baron, uh, I would say. I don't know where I can find it. Says, I love you. I tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll pull it up real quick. There we go. Pop this down in the chat real quick. There you go. There's there's the uh, there's the old NHRA schedule there. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Is Laguna Seca in Southern California? I, that I don't know. I want to say it is uh, say Kyle, but I will say this: it's in Forza, and that's why I love it because I used to race that track in Forza, and I was really good at that one. Uh, let's see. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, pretty Lifetime Network has the uh, second half of the season on Earth too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Lifetime Network has uh, the second half of the season on Earth too, for sure, for sure. Uh, Earth Two Lifetime is the is the channel for sports. Uh, you know, Earth Two Lifetime TV made for men or whatever. That, so that would be like Spike TV was back in the day, I guess. Uh, Ronald Russell Long Beach is southwest of LA. Uh, I believe Stewart got uh, eliminated in the first round. Oh, so he, he got he got he got uh, chopped off in the first round. I heard he had a good qualifying lap or qualifying run though. Uh, who uh, who do you think is the uh, biggest villain in NASCAR right now? Hmm. I think some people would say it's Ross Chastain. I feel like the other half of those people would be like he's the biggest hero. Uh, Denny Hamlin would have to be in the running for that. Joey Logano, a lot of people. Uh, I'm just going off people who I get who get booed the most. Uh, Bubba Wallace has a lot of people to boo him. Uh, he would be up there. Uh, those those are the three that I feel like get booed the most. So they, those would probably have to be your front runners uh, for biggest villain uh, or whatever. Uh, who's your uh, should come back? With uh, some gumball tires uh, for the short track, says Roy. I mean, yeah, some some fault, some tire fall off would be good, but still, I feel like the tires are so wide they're they're only going to uh, fall off so much. Uh, Chase and BB, were you impressed with RCR today? Uh, I was super impressed with them on Earth too. I'll, I'll put it to you that way. Uh, BB has the brightness on a thousand. Uh, yeah, a thousand, a thousand candelas. Uh, anyone here follow F1? I casually follow it. I'm not I'm not like the biggest follower. But I, I'm a Ferrari man, uh, if that makes uh, – I don't know. That might be good or bad. Uh, thanks for the hookup, BB. No problem, lovey. Anything I can do to help, uh, make it a poll. Uh, who's the biggest villain? Uh, this is like this. Like, I'll tell you what. We're not going to have time to do that poll on this one, but I'll write it down. We'll make that We'll make that the poll for the next, uh, next live. Biggest villain. All right. F1 was great back in the 80s. Uh, IndyCar looks more uh, enjoyable than F1. Yeah, so uh, F1 is just uh, one team is always better uh, recently, and that's just the way F1's going. Uh, all right. Looks like we have reached uh, LOL on uh, RCR on Earth 3. Uh, F1 is great. So, yeah, it looks like we've end, uh, reached the end of the chat. So I will check you guys Tuesday uh, for the next live. Uh, otherwise, I'll just be cranking out the regular videos, so be on the lookout for them. I appreciate y'all's time, and until the next one, peace.